Hey y'all, happy Lamaween. So today is the last day for Vlogtober, and I hate I fell off the wagon there for a little while, but you know, life happens, things happen. And then it's just been hard for me to get back into the swing of things, but I'm getting there. So, um, I'm doing good. I've, you know, had some bad days, feeling very weak, and lots of muscle spasms, muscle cramps on my left side. But, um, you know, I'm very thankful because I do realize things could have turned out way worse. And um, so I'm thankful that I'm doing good. <laughs> and my face has lots more movement in it. Um, sometimes whenever I'm really tired, I can tell that it doesn't. I don't know how to describe that, but most of the time it does, and it's not tight, it's more flexible and loose feeling, and you know, I can smile over there and everything now. Like I said, sometimes whenever I'm like super tired, I can feel that I'm not moving that side of my face as well, but it's okay. It's good. It's all good. I've had a little cabin fever because I was haven't wasn't to go in anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. I went to the doctor um last Thursday in Shreveport and that was my first time out of the house since having the stroke. And then um while I was at the doctor's office, I'll just throw this in there now. While I was at the doctor's office, they um in Shreveport, which is two and a half hours away from home, they wanted to do, they wanted to admit me into the hospital and run some more tests, the rheumatologist there, and I was just like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to go in the hospital two and a half hours away from home, I didn't expect this, I didn't bring things to stay overnight, I didn't bring enough yarn, you know, <laughs> and so I talked when my husband talked back and forth, and he was like, "Well, let's just get it over with." So I agreed that I would stay, and then whenever um, they were admitting me and all that kind of stuff, was working out all the details. <coughs> one of the things she wanted me to do was have an MRI, and I said, "Do y'all have an open MRI?" And she said, "No." We'll have to send you to um, a different hospital for that. And so I was just kind of, um, you know, when will that be? And then she said that they would take a few days to get it approved by our insurance, which is Blue Cross Blue Shield. And I was just like, mm, I'll, I'll just go home. <laughs> you get it approved, and then I'll come back. So that's what I did. I came on home. I didn't want to stay in the hospital. I mean, I was just like, that's a long way from home, for one thing. But, you know, and I wasn't prepared for that. Lord knows. I wasn't even thinking anything like staying in the hospital when I went to that appointment. So, anyway, it all worked out fine. And I do have the MRI scheduled at, not at another hospital, but at a different imaging place later in November, so it'll all be fine. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, so I've had cabin fever because I only went out that one day, um, you know, was in the truck two and a half hours getting there. We went to that appointment, which was an all day thing. Then we ate dinner somewhere uh, at Posadas, it's a Mexican restaurant. And, um, I did go in Joann's and got some scrubby material yarn stuff, the, the plasticky stuff. I was running out of it, and I had been making scrubbies at my doctor's appointments because it's something mindless and, you know, I can just do real easy. So, I ran in Joann's and rode the cart. They have those part right at the door, and my husband dropped me off at the door, and, um... I went in and got on the cart, and then he came on in. 
But anyway, I got that scrubby yarn, and then we got back in the truck and drove, you know, two and a half hours on home. And I was exhausted and so, so tired. I slept the whole way home. But then I didn't go anywhere else. Um, and I was just kind of going a little bit stir-crazy. Back in my day, I was very go-go-go person. Activities, something on the schedule every day. Um, as my kids were growing up, we always had activities to go to, events. But um, as I started getting sick, you know, things slowed down. But I still had a pretty active life. And um, over the past year or so, I would say that, you know, it slowed down a good bit. But, I mean, I still go to the grocery store every two weeks and run in Michael's or Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or somewhere once in a while. I mean, I can't go to town and do a bunch of stores in one day, but I can go and do about one store. And so I hadn't been doing any of that. So I um, asked Dakota one day if he would, I seen that Michael's had yarn on sale, like all yarns on sale. So I asked Dakota, I said, hey, you want to take me to Michael's? And he said, oh, you didn't hear they did away with all their yarn. Yeah, I used to do that to him when we'd go, when he was little, and we'd be in Walmart, and he'd say he wanted to go look at the toys, and I'd say, oh, they got rid of the toy department. <laughs> so he tried to pull one on me. And I was like, oh, well, let me call up there and ask. And so um, this lady that's a manager up there also uh, named Paula, so, um, she's very friendly to us and everything. I mean, she's Dakota's friend, and <laughs> she's very friendly with me. But anyway, so I told Dakota, I said, I called Paula, and she said they do have yarn. <laughs> so anyway, he didn't really feel like it that day. He had just got home from work, and he didn't want to go back to Michael's that day. <laughs> so, I think it was the next evening he said he would take me, um, so anyway, we did ride up there that night. I rode to Michael's with him. I went in and got some yarn and things. Um, and it was just nice to get out of the house. <laughs> and then we also ran in Dollar Tree at that time and picked up a few things that I'd just been needing, you know. I mean, I can make lists for the kids, but sometimes you just want to go look. Maybe you don't know you need something until you see it. So, <laughs> that's my thoughts anyway. I like to just look and when to shop. And, you know, I, sometimes I don't know I need it until I see it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need one of those. <laughs> anyway, so, um, today's Wednesday. So, I won't go out again until... Friday, we, Jody and I both have doctor's appointments at the hospital. He has physical therapy at 8.30. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. I have a doctor's appointment with a neurologist at 9 o'clock. And then I have another appointment at 12.45 with the family doctor. So, it's an all-day thing. Hopefully, we'll have time to leave and go get some lunch. Or even go to the, um hospital cafeteria if you know if we don't have time to actually leave the hospital and go somewhere but anyway we'll grab lunch in between there um and about Jody's appointment so about a month or even over a month ago now and I might have mentioned it I can't really remember I can't remember hardly anything anymore but um he one morning while he was getting dressed for work, he started yelling and then started hollering for me to get up to take him to the ER. Thankfully, Dakota was home and off that day. So he got up too and we took Jody to the ER. And for him to even say he wanted to go to the ER, he was hurting. So um, they x-rayed it and said it wasn't broke. I think they gave him like a muscle relaxer or something for a few days. Um... And then, it never got better. It, it hasn't gotten any better. It's probably gotten worse. He's walking, definitely. 
so I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't see anything on the security. Yeah, I do. The car's driving out. But, um, his knee hasn't gotten any better. He's walking with a cane and just horrible pain. So, he, um, made an appointment with the orthopedic doctor and he went with to see him and um they're gonna try physical therapy so he's gonna go friday morning for his first physical therapy appointment and we'll just see how that goes i hope it helps him i hope that you know he doesn't have to do anything further medically i hope that the physical therapy will help and relieve some of his pain or something. He just needs relief because it has been very painful. And it kills me to see him in pain. I hate that. He's, you know, he's my rock. And then when he's in pain, it's hard. <laughs> um, so anyway... I have a few pre-recorded videos that I'll be releasing, like I have them up, but they're private, so I'll be making them public here in the next few days. Um, there might be one with some finished objects, and then like a, um, maybe there's a Walmart haul, or a few more like that. But it's, anyway, it's a couple more videos that they were pre-recorded before I had the stroke, and I'll be releasing those. I uh, have lots of new videos on the way. I just have uh, a lot of ideas running through my head. And I'm trying to jot those ideas down. So that um, I can get those videos made and up. Um, I have lots and lots of finished objects. And just as many whips. <laughs> so I'll be making some videos on those. And I have some giveaways coming up. So, um, if you hadn't subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell down there and give me a thumbs up and watch for more videos coming up soon. And I hope y'all hang out with me some more. Thank you.